Hello, I'm Steve. Welcome to the Patio Heat Channel, where we provide visual concepts of infrared heating as well as tips for outdoor comfort. Send your request into designs at patioheat.com for your personalized recommendations. Our one-on-one -on -one customer support helps you make the best decisions for your applications. We strive during your business. Visit our patioheat.com website for sales and more information. Now let's get heating. All right, so we have this uh, covered patio area. And let's go right into the overall dimensions that I received. Overall dimensions I received are about 15 foot by 22 and a half feet by nine feet, four inches to the ceiling. I was also told that the um, fans were a four, uh, four foot diameter and that also that the two fans here were three feet set, or off edge to edge. Um, and then this one here on the right was five feet from this edge here to this edge here. They sent me some images and I saw some uh, lighting fixtures. So I have them placed about two feet off of the edge over here in towards the center on both sides. And then these sets of two here in the center of the patio structure itself. And then over here, I think I have these roughly about, uh, well, I think it was two feet off this edge here to the center point over here. This one over here, I went from this edge here two feet over to the center point over here. All right, so they were looking at um, the possibility of placing some uh, flush mount units in their, their patio structure. You can see they have some seating over here, dining over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn off these dimensions. The main thing is really is how is the ceiling uh, joist lined up? Is it in this uh, uh, fashion here going from the uh, short end from the structure of the building over here out this direction or is it going perpendicular to what I'm showing here I'm assuming it's going to be something like this um, the ceiling joist and if that's true then there's a couple of different methods that we may be able to do now one of the uh, biggest issues is with the reference to the um, placing the flush mount system, like a 6,000 watt unit, in the center of these two uh, fans. If we did that, we need to make sure that we are meeting the clearances, and you can see here that um, we are not meeting the clearances. So I have this um, offset, so it's actually centered between the two fans, not the center of the structure itself where the lights are. Uh, if you looked over here, from here to here would be center. and. Um, so in any case, I do have them centered between the fans. Now, it would not work this way because of the fact that uh, you know we are in that combustible area. So what you, could you do? You could change the fans out so that these are steel bladed fans, and then they are no longer considered a combustible material. And then you could um, utilize this uh, drawing here. Now, the other thing that we have to work out as well is make sure that we have that uh, 18 inches of clearance here. To the fan blade itself and i'm just going to go ahead and turn back on those dimensions so we can see that full four foot diameter fan um so yeah i i met that uh clearance there and then looking at the wall here i want to make sure i meet that 18 inches of clearance here which should not be an issue these heaters are in the center of the patio structure itself and um looking over here you can see that we're not hitting the tv in any way or uh, the fan itself on this side but again this side is an issue so either this would have to be eliminated or you would have to change these fans out um, let's go ahead and look at the footprint of heat so footprint of heat in this fashion here would be um, fairly decent you can see that we're not heating up the seating positions you know left and right here see if I can get in here um, you know we're not heating up this as ideally I was as I would like nor are we on this side here with the uh, 6,000 watt units in the center of the patio so let's go ahead and look at a another option that next option would be placing some additional units which would be the 4,000 watt dual uh, units in a uh, recessed or flush mount system and you can see here I have six total and something like this, you know, we're covering up the, uh, the lights right here, so that might be issue one. Over here, this is not a big issue, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the top up here. 
just so you could kind of see now what other issues we might have. We need to make sure that we are actually going to be able to place the heater between the ceiling uh, joists. So over here, you know, the, where I have this one in the center, obviously the ceiling joist is an issue. So you'd have to box this in or reconstruct this somehow or not place this unit here and offset it to, you know, left over here or right over there. But again, the fans are an issue. So uh, same thing with this over here. You know, if we really wanted to place the heaters exactly where they would put the best footprint of heat, then that's something else that we should have to do is to redesign the actual ceiling itself. So let's go ahead and just look at the positioning that I have here. And you can see that's six foot three. And this one over here to here should be about the same. Yeah, six foot three. And then center to center on each unit. Let's look at that. And I'm going to show you why I have them placed this way here. So that's nine foot, uh, excuse me, four, eight foot nine and one quarter. Now, what I did on this is I was trying to eliminate the clearance issue. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the clearance issue below the heater. Let's see if I have it on here. I think I may have turned it off. <coughs> excuse me. Um, in any case, <laughs> there there is a clearance issue here. Maybe I placed it on a different... Uh, there we go. All right, so um, what I have here is I placed it such that it's not intruding into the fan area whatsoever. So you can see here, I moved it out just enough so that you know my 18 inches of clearance from the edge of the heater to the fan blade itself around this edge here is not a problem. And that's true on all six of the units. Uh, again, these are 6,000 watt units. And I'm gonna swing over here and show you what that looks like on this side here. No issue, I should actually just show you from the top here. Sorry for the swinging around here, but yeah, you can see there's no clearance issues with regards to using these 4,000 watt units around the fans themselves. So this is a, the close, these are the closest two I have to the fans, and but they are still being met as far as the clearances are concerned. So let's go ahead and look at the footprint of heat. And I'm going to turn this off here and I'm going to turn the top back on. And you can see the footprint of heat is um, fairly decent. Now these are uh, 4,000 watt dual element units. I think they're 39 inches long plus the uh, flush mount kit itself. Um, so yeah, I would do something like this in order to heat up this whole entire space uniformly if this was an ideal uh, situation for me. Um, and or, you know, if it's just looking at uh, heating up a potential area, meaning um, partial, then we could go with the, uh, the uh, 6,000 watt units like this here. So this will just give you a good idea of what that footprint of heat looks like as much as possible. We can look at it from this point of view here as well. And you can see again, the big issue I don't like is just the fact that the uh, seating, main seating over here and here aren't being heated properly with the uh, heaters in the center of the patio. Um, you would feel the warmth, um, especially on your legs, but uh, not being in that exact point of ray. Now this is infrared light wave, so infrared light wave does bend and stretch, and so there will be some light uh, source in the sitting position. It just won't be the ideal amount of light uh, produced by the infrared heaters in this fashion. So, but again, you know, we need to deal with the fan blades and or moving those fans left or right um, or placing this unit here or not. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete this unit for a second. You can see that this would be the footprint of heat and this would be, you know, how it would uh, operate under this two unit um, setup. Now if the rafter system or the, excuse me the ceiling joists are in another type of uh, uh, arrangement then we'd have to go through and change everything. So that is what I am looking at for today 
and I hope this has helped. If you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application and you'd like us to review your plans and your information into designs at patioheat.com, I'm Steve. Please tap that like button if you find this video useful. We don't advertise, not monetize. YouTube does not promote our channel in any way unless we receive a thumbs up from our viewers. We truly appreciate that. Thank you so much. You have an excellent day.